Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Putting food on the children. <laughs> There's a piece of me that misses GW. Okay, here we go. Jeff writes. Hey Aaron, do you think as a citizen living in the United States that America feel more united to you during the George W. Bush years, George Bush Jr.? Bringing people together. Uh, rather, people loved him or hated him. They just felt less divided during those times. Regardless, he was one hell of a leader, especially compared to the Obama administration years. Thanks, Aaron. I, I kind of, I disagree. Um, I was not a big fan. You really got to get me. I think the last great president we had was Reagan, and even I have my complaints about him. Before that, it was Eisenhower. Uh, and before that, it was Teddy Roosevelt. Um, <laughs> so, I really, um, I have a high standard for the president, as you should. And even though I did support George uh, W. Bush, uh, I, uh, I don't have respect for I can't. I can't have respect for him because he, he's a dad. He's a nepotist. His dad was fucking president, for God's sake. Uh, and here, here's some money, kid. He's a trust fund baby. I can't have any respect. Now, adjusting for that handicap, you know, you comparing to uh, Mark Dayton or Nancy Pelosi, yeah, he did better. I mean, he tried his hand at running some businesses. I don't think any of them were profitable. Um, but, you know, if you got that much of a leg up in life, I mean, how strong can you possibly become? He did join the, uh, the Air National Guard. He did become a pilot. He has a lot more accomplishments than Obama did, for certain. Uh, but he's still, you know, you, you, about, I, can't, I can only expect him, this is the ceiling. This is the ceiling that I can respect a trust fund baby president or trust fund baby anybody. Um, and, you know, did I, did I think as a citizen of the United States, was America more united under George Bush? No, I think, I think it was just as divided as it is now. It's slightly more divided because we have now a more feral generation of Americans, namely the millennials and some of the older Gen Zers coming on board, and all they have is their politics. Some of the older, wiser people, you know, the, the silent generation, the baby boomer, not baby boomers, the um, World War II generation has died off. So uh, with that and just the absolute hatred they have for Trump, just a feral, an, a, uh, an unconscious, a, a, a not anchor, just, just hatred. For Trump, I think it's a little bit more divided, but adjusting for who's part of the population now as opposed to what? Gosh, how long ago was Bush? 16 years ago? Um, I think, I, I remember, oh, worst economy in 50 years. John Kerry was touting that when it wasn't even a recession. If you remember, there was an economic slowdown. That's the best way it could be described after the dot-com bubble burst. It wasn't that bad. And uh, if anything, there was a brief moment in time where the Terrorist attacks uh, united the country ever so briefly. But I even remember the in, in Minnesota, well, they're probably going to go to war. It's like, yeah, you little pussy fucktard Minnesota fuck. We might go to war. More people died or about the same died as the same in the, as, as Pearl Harbor. And we ended that with new, uh, two nuclear bombs. And here, oh, we're probably going to go to war. Yes. Yes. And in that regard, I am, you know, for, well, you could argue that you shouldn't have invaded Iraq or that the strategy was wrong or whatever. Uh, but yes, <laughs> we did go to war. And thank God we did, because we did, and we'd be like, oh, you can do that to us all you want. We won't do nothing. Uh, so I, you know, a begrudging little bit of respect there for George. Uh, I think he was well-intended. Uh, you see some of his more personal stuff. Um, I think he is a true Christian. Uh, pros and cons of that that come with it. Um, but... Once you threw in war and the, the media was out to get him, it, it was just as divided because then you had the war to fight over. Uh, Trump, you could even argue he's more of a m centrist. He's you know, pro-gay rights. Um, he lowered taxes, jacked up spending. And don't get me started. Uh, he just mouths off a lot, and so I think maybe that's why people really don't like him. And it seems that people are more divided, but people are just as divided. Oh, people had, there's one guy, his mom would call people bushies. They're a bushy, because they like Bush. 
Um, and maybe you're too young to remember, but man, they had a they had a hate boner for George W. Bush. G. W. Oh, he was saying himself. What's his name? Um, Chavez, Hugo Chavez. When oil prices were high, and Venezuela was doing okay, he he came in and would say, "Well, I'll give heating oil to the poor people of America." And he called George Bush the devil, and he smelled sulfur. Oh, how's that Venezuela? How's that communism working now? It only works well if it, the oil prices are high, huh? Um, people hated him, and people hated you if you liked Bush. Uh, you know, don't don't forget the past, but. Was America more united? No, they were just as divided. Uh, and you're right, people loved him or hated him. It just felt less divided during those times. I do not share that experience or sentiment. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just, I just, that's not been my experience. Regardless, he was one hell of a leader. I don't think he was one hell of a leader. Um, I don't think you can be a leader if you come from. I honestly don't. If you come from a, what is a truly privileged background, not that you happen to have a jamoke and you're white, but if you come from a truly trust fund baby privileged background, I, you can't be a leader. I'm sorry, unless you go through some kind of hell. And especially compared to the Obama administrations, I, I don't think uh, Obama, I, the, I have a begrudging amount of respect for him because I think it was a relatively, keyword relatively, honest politician. He did what he said he was going to do. And that's why I have my main disagreements with him. I'm like, dude, you're a fucking communist. You're just a parasite. And he was a trust fund babe, but he was honest in his color stripes. He was, he was like, yeah, I'm a socialist, and we're going to do socialist things. And they did socialist things. And so at least you could disagree with Obama as, on policy. But I still look at him, and I, I kind of envy him in some regards. I'm like, well, you had a nuclear family. So did Bush. GW had a nuclear family, too. And they both seem to be good family men, so I think both of them kind of kept the word in that. But um, Obama wasn't any worse of a leader or any better of a leader uh, than, than uh, Bush. And again, he, he was a trust fund baby, too. Obama was a, I, I can't. Here's your ceiling. That's all you can. You, you can achieve a C plus. You can achieve a very mediocre grade. Um, and they did because they just, they, they really didn't know hard. That's the first real job a lot of these guys had was presidency. A lot of these guys, you know, they, they uh, you know, or, or becoming a politician. Ocasio-Cortez, she never worked a day in her life. Now, she's working hard. Uh, it may be fun or maybe a power trip to her, but uh, that, her being a, 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 a congressman, uh, I don't say congresswoman because we don't have to, um, Oh my God! I gotta do something. I gotta yeah. Well, you get to issue along the way, but you gotta work. <laughs> you gotta hustle. So there you go. All right, that's it. Links down below. Bobbity bop bop boo boobity bee bee bee. Toodles.